I have two DNS servers in my Active Directory network. I'm going to add my second server in my DNS console by clicking on Connect to DNS Server. Now I'm going to type in the following computer, and here is the name of that computer. And I'll click OK. And now it's showing my second computer here at the bottom. So now I'm showing both my servers. I could have just switched over to the other server, but this way I can see both at the same time. My goal in this video is to create a secondary zone. I already have one zone right now pointing to my Active Directory domain. So what I'd like to do is to replicate data from a new zone that I create into this secondary location. I'm going to go up to the forward lookup zones that you see here at the top and create a new one. And I'll just go ahead and go through the wizard. And I'm going to choose the primary zone. I don't need to replicate this to other domain controllers because I only have the one at this point. But I can leave that checked in case I want to add more in the future. Now I've got to put in the zone. I'll call this mytest.com, which is not a zone I own, but this is just for internal demonstration purposes. So I'll choose the defaults, and I'm going to click Finish. But now what I want to do is I want to create a secondary zone. And that secondary zone is going to have a copy of all the data that's in the My Test primary zone. First, I'm going to create a quick host record, and I'll just call this one Test1, and I'll give it an IP address. And it doesn't actually exist, but this is just for demonstration. And I'll click Add Host. So now I've got test one and I've got the two default records that come with any new zone into my mytest.com zone. Now I want to create a secondary zone and replicate that data with it. But the first thing I have to do is to give it my permission to copy that zone over. So I'm going to right click on mytest.com, go to properties. And I'm going to go to Zone Transfers. This is the important part of being able to copy information from a primary to a secondary zone. So we have a few different options. If security is not an issue, then choose to any server that requests the zone. Now, that's not a secure way of doing things, but in some internal organizations, they might find that that is sufficient. You can also say only to servers listed on the Name Servers tab. Well, let's see if our other servers are listed in the Name Server tab. It's not there. I could manually add it, and then it would go ahead and replicate that information. The third option is only to the following servers. That's what I'm going to choose here. I'm going to click Edit, and I'm going to put in the IP address of my other DNS server. This is the IP address for that DC2 server. So don't worry about if you get an issue of attempting to resolve. Sometimes it just takes a second to catch up. So we'll click OK and click Apply. Now I'm going to click OK here and go over to my forward lookup zones, create a new zone once again. But this time, instead of creating a primary zone, I'm going to create a secondary zone. So this is a read-only copy that's great for remote offices that you don't want to necessarily have them have a writable zone. You just want them to have a read-only copy that comes from the primary. So I'll click Next, and now I'm going to give that zone a name, and I've got to call it the same thing. My test.com. Click Next. Now it's asking for the master DNS server, and that's the server that I started with, which is DC1. And there it is. Click Next and Finish. So now I have mytest.com as a forward lookup zone. That's a primary, and mytest.com, which is a secondary lookup zone. Now, notice how it's not been loaded yet. That's OK. All you have to do is right click and choose to transfer from the master. And after a quick refresh, now we see a copy of that zone. And it's a secondary zone, so I should not be able to add any records. So watch what happens when I try to create a new record. The option isn't even there. I, I can't create a new record. So what I can do if I need to add a new record, I'll just go over to mytest.com in the primary. And now I have the option. So I'll call this one test2. And let's just see if it replicates as well. Go to my test, refresh, and there's test two. 
You may find a lot of different uses for secondary DNS zones. The most often use I've seen is when you have a remote office that needs that read-only copy so those changes can't be made from the remote office. So that is how we create a secondary zone and replicate the data on a Windows 2022 server.